So we got some news from Winnipeg Jets center Mark Shuffley. He has been suspended four games um, by the NHL for what the NHL calls a high predatory hit on um, Mario Canadiens for Jake Evans. So basically, what ended up happening, Mario, was it was it was like the last minute of the third quarter, and the Jets had an empty net. Um, Canadians were up four three, and Jake Evans was score uh, was uh, skating towards the empty net. Um, and this is the interesting part. Instead of just shooting it right then and there in front of the net, he went around. Um, he went around the back of the net and then shot the goal from there. And then right after that, Mark Sheffley came in out of nowhere and just ran right into him, ran to the back wall. And Jake Evans ended up getting um, uh, stretched off the off the ice. So I'm wishing him for speedy recovery. You know that was a very that was a very hard hit. Um. It, it that that the, the decision for him to go around is definitely interesting to me. I'm not sure why he did it, but because it was basically him in front of everybody else, so he could have just shot it right then and there. But I'm not sure why he did. Uh, he scored that goal with 56.9 seconds remaining in regulation. Um, and the NHL described the incident as conceding the empty net goal, and that his intention was to deliver a hard, violent check to an opponent, with the outcome of both the play and the game already have been decided. And they also ruled that Shafley made no effort to make a defensive play on the empty net. Um, and they also said that he took his hand off his stick and turned his shoulder into Evans. And I have a quote from Jets coach Paul Maurice. He said, and I quote, you need to do anything you can to stop a goal from being scored. It was a heavy, heavy hit, but it was clean. It's part of the game. I don't even like that phrase. Depending on what flag is on the car, you'll have a different opinion on that. But their guy took a hit to make a play. Our guy made a hit. Um, and before I pass it on to you, Mario, this article was written by Frank Wyszynski from ESPN. So I'll let you start off first, Mario. What do you think of Mark Sheffley getting suspended four games by the NHL? Well, look, um, first of all, I wish uh, Jake Evans the best of luck. You know, I wish him a speedy recovery because it was a nasty hit. And, and yeah, I mean, he got stretched off the ice, so it was a scary moment. As for Mark Sheffley, I see what the NHL is ruling. I kind of understand it, but I don't. And the reason why is because of this, okay? So, obviously, the play goes, Jake Evans has the puck, skates off the ice, it's him alone and nobody else. He could have shot it, like, when he was, like, he was a little left of the net, but still, I believe he could have shot that, you know, especially when he was wide open. But he decided to go around, and when he went around and he tipped it in, uh, Sheffley came in. Now, I understand the part, and I agree that Sheffley let go of his hand off the stick and he put his shoulder into him. That's something you just can't do, Okay. However, to say that he didn't make a defensive play, I don't agree with that. I think that, again, that hit was dirty. I'm not saying it wasn't, okay? But it was a defensive play. Because if you look at that hit, that kick comes right after he hits that goal. He makes that goal, okay? I'm not saying it's not a dirty hit. It's a dirty hit. But you can't say he made no defensive effort or he did not make a defensive play. A hit is a defensive play. You know what I'm saying? Like it's Whether it's a dirty defensive play or not, it's a defensive play. Do I understand the four game suspension? Yes, I would probably, to be honest with you, um, he could again. Now I'm looking at the play and I'm thinking to myself, could he have done something to defend that? Absolutely. With the amount of time that, because he came, because he came skating in on him quick, with the amount of time that Jake Evans took to go around that net, um, Mark Sheffley instead of hitting the guy, could have at least like put his stick out, you know, and blocked the puck from getting into the net he could have at least made that attempt you know it would have prevented him from getting suspended and either way it, it, let's suppose jake evans doesn't make this goal okay and he hits him either way i think this is a suspension okay because it was a high hit use your shoulder to flip to inflict the hard hit on the guy and because of that he's suspended now again i the four game suspension do i understand it absolutely do i agree with it um it's tough, okay? Four, three or four games, I think, is fair. So I'll say yes. Three or four games, I think, is fair for Mark Sheffley. All right, now, again, Mark Sheffley, I don't believe he made, he made a quote about this, correct? There's no quote in the article or anything like that? Uh, the only quote I read was from the Jets coach, and that was, as far as I'm concerned, right. the only one that was made about Right, it. and that's what I'm saying. It was, a de it was a defensive play, okay? It was a defensive play. Was it a, was it a clean defensive play? No, he could have... I'm not, I don't agree with that. I think it was a little high, in my opinion. I think that hit was a little high. But, however, when you really look at it, it looked like it looked like he had anger in it. You know, it looked like he was kind of angry or frustrated. It looked like he put that into the hit. You know, which as a hockey player, you know, using aggression, 
using aggression could help you, but it could also it could also harm you too. Because if you use too much aggression, or whatever, then uh, again, penalties, bad stuff could happen. Obviously, the players are not too happy about it because their player just got because their player what was like um, like uh, unconscious on the ice. You know, he was he was he was out on the ice for a little bit and they had to stretch him off. So I understand why the players don't like it. However, when I look at this, okay, to say that he didn't make a defensive play, I don't agree with that. That was a defensive play. Was it a clean defensive play? No, but it was still a defensive play. Did he lift his shoulder up and dr- and take it off the stick to hit him? Absolutely. Do I think that deserves a suspension? Yes. I would have said I would have said three game suspension, but they gave him four games. You know, I can't really complain about that. But as for uh, Winnipeg, this is really this is some really unlucky news for them. It is because Mark Sheffley was absolutely amazing in these playoffs. Okay, I mean he had two goals, three assists, he had five points in total. He was he was great in these playoffs, and for him not to be in and to, for him to be suspended four games, it's definitely going to affect his team. But with that being said, it's next man up. You know, the next man has to step up. And Mark Sheffley had a great season for them as well, like regular season wise. Nate, um, this year he had twenty one goals, forty two assists, he had sixty three points. So he has been a big big contributor to the Winnipeg Jets. And him not being on the ice is really going to affect them. Um, as of now, Nate, the series is. I want to say. I believe it's Canadians up 1-0. I'll, I'll check just to be sure. Yeah, you're right. Canadians up 1-0. So the Canadians uh, are up one one and nothing. The Winnipeg Jets, somebody has to step up, Nate. With Mark Sheffield not there, somebody has to step up. Okay? If not everybody. So it's going to be a really tough uh, task now for the Winnipeg Jets. Same thing for the uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. Again, we don't know when Jake Evans is going to be back. Uh, most likely... He's not going to be back for uh, quite some time after that hit. So, and when you look at Mike, and when you look at uh, Mike Evans' stats, again, I think he had a he had a decent year as well too. Um, I'm going to look at his stats right now. Mike Evans had he had one goal in these playoffs, which was only one point. So, if you really think about it, in four games, it really isn't that big of like a factor. That one goal was obviously the one he scored against uh, Sheffley. And uh, in 2021, he had three goals, 13 points, 10 assists. So when you're able to look at it, not as big as an effect as uh, Sheffley, but still a little bit of an effect. And with that guy gone, it's, you know, that's really going to, it's really going to affect the Canadians as well. We've seen what an injury did to a teammate because uh, when Tavares got hurt, when Tavares took that knee and he got hurt, to me, it looked like the Maple Leafs just weren't, just weren't the same. You know, it seemed like Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner, they weren't the same players. And it seems like the players uh, that played for the Toronto Maple Leafs just weren't the same players that we were accustomed to seeing two uh, series before or years before. They just didn't seem like the same team without John Tavares. So I'm not sure how this is going to affect the Canadians, you know. With that being said, I wish both teams the best of luck. I predicted uh, Winnipeg. You predicted Montreal. So we'll see who wins that. But It was the other way around. I predicted Jets. You predicted Canadians. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. I predicted, no, you predicted the Jets. My bad. It's been so long. I completely forgot. But um, with that being said, Mark Sheffield not being on that, not uh, being suspended four games, that's going to be tough for them, you know. But they got to think again. They got to survive. It's next man up. They got to tough it up, and somebody's got to step up. So with that being said, I wish both the Jets and the Canadians the best of luck, and we'll see what happens in the series. As for Jake Evans, I'm wishing you a speedy recovery and a full recovery at that. Right. Um. Yeah. Best of luck to um Jake Evans. You know, speedy recovery for him. Uh. Best of luck to both teams. One thing worth mentioning. Um. Because this is the Stanley Cup playoffs, Mario, and you know the, the Jets are down one all. If it, if the situation comes where they get swept, the remaining game will be served at the beginning of the regular season next season. So if that does happen, then that's what will happen. Now let me get to this. Okay. I look at this right. And the reason why I I disagree with you when they say when you said that it wasn't a defensive effort was because he hit him after the puck went into the net. You can't do that. Once the puck goes into the net, play stops until the puck goes center goes center ice. Right. Well, think about it this way: this man is is skating full speed again. Now I agree it's a dirty hit. I'm not denying that. Why? Because he lifted his arm up and hit him. But you also you got to also think for to say it wasn't a, the reason why I do believe it was is because this man is skating full speed at him. And again, the, the hit came, and I understand the hit's dirty and it came late, but a hit regardless is a defensive play. It might not be a clean defensive play, but it's a defensive play in my opinion, because 
getting hitting a guy is a way of stopping is a way of stopping him. But again, it was a dirty hit, and I agree with that. Right, but when I look at this, he really could have turned away. He could have turned away because once the puck, I know I know he was going fast and everything like that, but you know they're professional skaters; they can do that. You know, I mean, I, I, I can't skate to save my life, so like, I can't say anything. But these guys skate for a lifetime. So, I mean, if you're going that fast, I'm pretty sure you can gain control and turn. I mean, will it be risky? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, it prevents this type of stuff from happening. Maybe you might get hurt. I don't know. Right. That's what I'm, and, and, again, it's, it's, it's also the player thinking about his well-being as well. Now, right, again, but by thinking about his well being put someone else's well being at risk, that's I why when I look at I this. I agree. Either, the, either way, it gets it gets unlucky. Either way, it gets unlucky. I look at it. Hi there. I'm Cortana. I look at it and everything, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Nate. Everything is slow motion. It looks it looks late. Every single time you put something in slow motion, it's always gonna look late because it's in slow motion. When you right, right. speed, I don't I, I'm gonna be honest, it's a late hit, but it, it's it's a dirty hit, but at the same time the same time it looked like he was it looked like either way regardless whether he was going to shoot that or not he was going to hit him it looked like that was his intentions and it was a high hit and it was a dirty hit i'm not denying that part Absolutely. It. it looks like the hit comes right after he gets that puck in right after now again i don't think mark sheffley is like it, again i don't think he's like taunting around and strutting and everything like that like he's proud of it you know i don't think that i didn't see that in the video you know but Regardless, personally, like we, we can agree to disagree, but I just, I just think I, I could consider that a defensive play. Is it a dirty defensive play? Yes, but I consider that a defensive play. Not every defensive play is is clean. People got to realize that too. Not every defensive play right, is clean. But, right, and the, that's that's the only reason why I don't consider it a defensive play is because once the puck is in the net, play stops until it, the puck goes back to center center ice. That's why I don't consider it a defensive play because he hit him right after the puck went into the net. So, I mean, y'all can have your different opinions. You know, I mean, had, had that, had that puck not go into the net, we would be having a different conversation. You know what I mean? We would be having a completely different conversation had that puck not going in, but think, it but did. That, so but see, know, that's where I disagree with you too. Cause if he gets knocked out either way, this dude's going to find. And well, that's what him. I mean. But like at the end, no, the reason why, no, no, listen to me, hear me out. Okay. If the puck did not go in the net, then, yeah, that is it dirty still? Absolutely, of course. But it's still a defensive play because the puck didn't go into the net, so the, the game's still in play. You can do that. But the puck went into the net. He hits him. You can't do that because the puck's in the net. Already. So that's that's the rule in hockey. You know, once the All puck right. was in the we net, it, right. so let me ask you. You wouldn't count, you wouldn't count uh, Mark Sheffley's uh, – the hit uh, for Mark Sheffley, you wouldn't count that as a defensive effort? No. Okay. Well, I wouldn't count it as a, a defensive effort, yes, but a defensive play, no. All right, so that's where we – I'll say it like that, just to make it – just to clear the air. All right, so that's where I go right there. Now, according to the quote from the coach, it said – he uh, the coach for the uh, Jets, you need to do anything to stop to stop a goal from being scored. It was a heavy, heavy hit, but it was clean. It was part of the game. I don't even like that phrase, depending on what flag is on the car, on the car. You'll have a different opinion on that, but their their guy took a hit to make a play. Our guy made a hit. So I'll say, so I'll say this: uh, the N- the NHL says it was they made no effort to make a defensive play. That I think was a defensive effort. Put it that way. I think he was coming full speed, and I think either way he was like, "I'm gonna hit this guy." Now, was it a dirty hit? I completely agree with you. That that we're not disagreeing on. But to say he made no effort at a defensive play, I don't agree with that because because now going to what you said, if he missed that goal, and then Sheffield hits him. It's still a dirty hit, but are they going to say it was no effort? That's that's my point right there. I think this was a. De- I think he made a defensive effort and a dirty hit. That's what I think it was. Do I think he deserves to be suspended? Yes. I would have said three. I would have said three games opposed to four. But regardless, I do agree it was a dirty hit. We just disagree on whether it was a defensive play or a defensive effort or not. Right. Right. Absolutely. So um. Uh, with that being said, there's really not much else to say here. So with that being said, you know, best of luck to um, uh, Jake Evans. Uh, I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. Best of luck to both teams. I believe they play again either today or tomorrow. Let me just check that for you guys. They play tonight at 730, so it's going to be on USA. So make sure you go check that out if you want to go watch that. So best of luck to both teams. Uh, and we'll see what happens with both.